All right, let me talk about the cargo tray slide out. The cargo tray slide out is one of my favorite components to the GLSS. Um, I just recently started getting into mountain biking and I have an electric mountain bike and I don't want to leave it on the outside of the van and it's too heavy for me to put up on my one up on my B2. So I bring the bike in here and I feel a lot better about it. So to be able to do that, you do not need to have the cargo tray slide out, but it sure does make it a lot easier to be able to pull the slide out, the cargo tray slide out, out mount the mountain bike, and then bring it back in. Um, but one of the misconceptions when customers get our um, cargo tray slide out is we have this plastic in the bottom of it. So it has a little bit of a flex. There's about a half inch flex in it. Um, you cannot break it. You can get 10 people on here. You can get a thousand pounds on here. You are not gonna break it. Um, this HDPE that we use is, is undeniably strong. It doesn't crack. Um, it might bend, but it won't break. So when you first get it, you're gonna step on it and feel a little bit of flex. And that's not the cargo tray flexing, that's just the plastic insert that's in there. Um, so have no worries about that. Nothing can happen to it. Um, super durable. We've been using this system for almost a year now um, from our 2020 van and it's held up great. So I just wanted to touch on that. Um, we also use drawer slides that have a 250 pound rating. I don't recommend putting 250 pounds on it because our system is portable. So it is bolted to the GLSS, the driver's side and the passenger side. But you got to keep in mind, we're using um, straps to strap it down. So if you slide this all the way out and you put 250 pounds on it, chances are either the strap's gonna break or you're gonna pull the O-ring out of the floor off. So do not do that. I did make a video, or I should say I made a post on Instagram last year and I had it all the way out. I put a 75 quart ice chest on it and I sat on it all the way out. And I was a little nervous thinking the whole, you know, the O-rings would pop out of the floor, but it held true. So um, you can definitely get a lot of weight on there. I just don't recommend 250 pounds when it's completely extended. So it is really nice to have this because you can pull it out, put your gear on here, and then also have another area of storage. So now you have the driver's side storage, you have the centerpiece for storage, and then you also have the passenger side. When you get to camp, you can take those you know, bins, maybe you have a couple bins in here, take them off, and then you have this space uh, freed up again. So Jay, show, show me how you slide that out because people are gonna wanna see it. This, this the cargo off. tray sliding out. All right, so how do you slide the cargo tray out? Once you get it in place and it bolts down to the passenger side and the driver's side GLSS, so you have two locking mechanisms here on the end. All you're gonna do is push them down and pull this out. It'll lock and it just locks in place. It won't pull out any further. So it's nice to be able to grab your gear, put it here, push these in to push it all the way back in and it'll lock into place. You can also take this whole thing out too, just like any drawer in your home. You can undo it and then just slide it and unlock it and pull the whole system out as well if maybe you didn't want to bring it on a trip. So there's that as well. So very simple, locks in, locks out, and you can take it out if you don't need it. 